Hey YouTube, Cindy Steve back with another video. Let you know what I've been picking up, what I've been playing. There's been quite a lot going on over Christmas. I've been picking up absolutely loads of stuff, so this might be a bit of a long one. But I hope you all had a good Christmas, all had a good New Year. But uh, I'm absolutely starting to run out of room now. The little cupboard in the, or the big cupboard in the corner, I've had to start taking out all my controllers and everything like that. That's all going to have to start going in the loft to make way for some more games. I think the collecting is really starting to take over the actual playing at the moment, but I've been playing a little bit, but not too much on the arcades at the moment. I've got a bit of New Zealand story running today, um, but I'll come to that later because I've been playing it on another system. And uh, Lightning Fighters, or Trigon, as it's in Japan. I've been selling a few boards, so uh, I thought them all out the loft. And this one, I couldn't even remember which one it was, and I put it in there and was trying it. I'm not, I'm not selling it. Just didn't know what it was. Chucked it in and uh, it stayed there for a few weeks. A really cool game. On to my first pickup though. And first Christmas present. Off to brother-in-law. It's Shinmora EX on the Switch. It's a really tough shooter, really deep. I've only put about 20 minutes into it, but the graphics are absolutely stunning. But it's such a tough game. I think there's a, a bit too much going on at the screen at one time to uh, for me to get really good at it. It's, honestly, I've played it for about 20 minutes, it's doing my eyes in. But it's a stunning looking game. But I will, uh, I will give that a go. And then on to the next pickup. Got Wario Wear Ink. I had no idea that this was on the GameCube. I've been playing it quite a lot on the Game Boy Advance and uh, absolutely think it's a brilliant game. And I thought the Game Boy Advance version, obviously being a handheld, um, it lacks on multiplayer. But this is the absolute perfect party game. Such a cool game. Loads of mini games. Definitely recommend this one. This was literally like under a tenner, in my opinion, a must for all GameCube owners. This one's actually playing on the Wii at the moment, on the big screen. And moving on to Game Gear. I've been picking up so many Game Gear games, I'm not even showing half of them ever since I got this modded Game Gear with a really bright screen just completely opens up a lot of uh, Game Gear games which usually haven't aged very well. Yeah, I think this is one of the more expensive rarer titles but I'm only down for cart only so not too bad. I think it's only about, I say only about 40 quid, something like that. An eBay purchase. I believe this is one of the predecessors of the Musha series, the Lest, in Japan. But yeah, really, yeah, good, cool shooter. More simple, definitely more simple than the Shinmora. Really cool game. I think I'm up to about about 100 Game Gear games now. I believe it's just under 200 in the library. Such a cheap system to collect for. And as I say, with the with the modded Game Gear, the games do look a lot better. Moving on from there. Got my first birthday present pickup. This is the Game Boy Advance EverDrive. Put this on my birthday list. I had a birthday last week, and this uh, this come from the mother-in-law. Well happy with this because it works on the uh, on the GameCube, on the GameCube, the Game Boy Advance player for the GameCube. So uh, yeah, really cool. Download it all onto there and select what you want to play. I haven't even fully loaded this memory card yet, but it came with a memory card already in there, so we're happy with that. Had a few games on there, had the firmware on there. I usually play Game Boy Advance games either on the DS or Game Boy Player purely because 
I've, I haven't got a modded Game Boy Advance and the screen is so dull for my, for my eyes. So, uh, yeah, really, really cool. I say I only, only had this last couple of days really. So uh, I'll put a bit of time into that. And one of the main reasons I did want another drive for Game Boy Advance is because I picked up this SD Media Launcher. And basically it's um, like an action replay disc and a uh, media card reader that you plug into your GameCube and you can force resolu resolutions through the Game Boy Advance player so as you can see on here you can actually see I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up but you've got scan lines there rather than interlacing and the picture just looks a million times better So yeah, really happy with, uh, with that. That was a Christmas present as well, that SD Media Launcher. That's what I do now, I literally just put loads of little bits I'm after on a Christmas list and hope I get it. The wife's a bit sneaky though, what she usually does is, what we usually do is um, spend Christmas at home and then on Boxing Day go to her mum's and sp spend Christmas with her family. And that's when they usually get all the best presents, usually on Boxing Day. So uh, I'm a don't become a recluse and come into the games room and start playing with them all day. A bit out of order if you ask me, but it happens every year. Moving on from Game Boy Advance, this was uh, another one I picked up. This was a CEX pickup for the Mega Drive. And this is Ranger X. And it's coming absolutely awesome condition. I've no idea why this wasn't mint. I think this was 30 quid. I've started leaving the receipts in there so I know how much I've paid. Like the manuals. Pretty crispy. And I think going rate for a nice complete version of this is about 40 quid so I think I've got a bit of a bargain there on the CEX roulette. But I haven't put much time into it. Bit token esque. It looks like a really cool game, so uh, I will put some time into that. And then moving on to this beauty. This is Agony on the Amiga. I know a lot of people were making the most of that 20% off offer from eBay. And this was my purchase. You know, this is a game that Paul, Mr. Bad Retro Games, he's done a gameplay not too long ago. And that's why I've got, I've got to stop watching so much YouTube because honestly, I watch things like that and it just makes me want to get it. And I had no idea that even these boxes existed. Absolute stunning box, stunning artwork. They're so much bigger, these boxes. So I'm really impressed with that and it's in lovely condition. But it was a bit of a story with it. I saw it before Christmas on uh, on eBay. And it was, I believe it was £100 best offer and I put in an offer of 70 quid. And he come back with 85 and I just couldn't justify it just before Christmas. So I was like, no, I'll leave it. And then... I noticed it on there on that day of that offer which was around New Year for £80 buy it now so literally put the put the promo code in and I believe I got it for 66 66 quid so even cheaper than my original offer so well happy with that it's got such a good soundtrack there's it's been a few times where I've literally come in here just put it on just to listen to the music This is a soundtrack I wouldn't mind hearing on uh, data discs. If they can put it on vinyl, I'd be the first one to buy it. <laughs> really decent. Love it. So from that, onto my CD32. 
which I haven't given any love in ages, and that's why I've put it on today. I've been playing a little bit of uh, IK Plus. I was talking to Big Mike, and he was uh, after a bundle on eBay, which I believe we've both bidding on and both lost it. I think he's, he's after a big box of this, and uh, I believe I've got it somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere in my cupboard, but it's the CD32 disc version, which I don't think there's any differences, apart from obviously all the interface being on the, on the joypad rather than the keyboard. Again, Paul, you probably know all about that. I don't think, uh, I think he's nearly got a full set of CD32 games, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, cool to be playing this one today, it's a game I loved back in the day. So, I'll uh, set up a tripod and show you the rest of my pickups. Right, on to some pickups. And the first bundle I got was from PlayNation in Croydon. Got me a really good deal on what we've got here. Five Game Gear games, a Mega Drive game, C64 game, and uh, an Amiga game. And I believe, what did this bundle cost me? It was 20 quid, I believe. 21 quid. Something like that. I mean, I've got individual prices on here, but that's what I'll do. I'll try and get a big bundle together and just see see what price they give me. So we've got NHL Hockey for the Game Gear. We've got F15 Strike Evil 2, which I remember my brother used to play that on the Amiga. I was never a massive fan of Flight Sims, but I'll check it out. We've got Dynamite Eddie. And that also came with the manual as well. Lovely... Crispy manual, which I'll keep the manuals. I've actually got quite a few manuals for Game Gear, but I'm just not too bothered about the boxes, that's all. It takes up far too much room. And Ultimate Soccer. I love playing the old soccer games, old football games, anything like that. Just check them out, see how bad they actually were. And Ernie Els Golf. I picked this up as well. Funny enough, I bought that before Christmas boxed complete because I was looking on Retro Collect and it on there was rare or very rare so I thought try and get the big hitters first and it was about 15 quid on eBay just thought I'd pull the trigger and then saw it for 99p so uh, picked that up as well as well as a C64 game Delta which I was playing on one of my I think it was my last video always uh, I like to have originals of games if I do like the game I know it's a, it's a Kicks re-release but if I, if I see the, uh, the original release I'll get it and also Archer McLean's pool on the Amiga, which, I mean, 99p, I'm not going to turn down boxed Amiga games that cheap, all complete, boxes in pretty nice condition. And I do remember Jimmy White's World in Snooker, which was uh, a great game, so to have the uh, the pool version as well, I will play it, I, I, I'm a big Snooker and pool fans, I still play a lot of pool, so I'll check that out and see uh, if it holds up. And last but not least, Arnold Palmer's Tournament Golf, which, again, 99p. It's all boxed, all complete, in nice condition. You can't turn down Mega Drive games for 99p. So, uh, happy with that. So, yeah, 20 quid for that bundle. I'm sure he gave me like a five off. I think it, it was coming to about 25 quid. So, yeah, well happy with that bundle. That will slot in nicely. Right, on to some more Mega Drive pickups. I've picked up an absolute load of Mega Drive games in the last month or so. It's been a bit mad, really. Um, this bundle came from eBay. It was actually in four bundles. And one of the bundles had uh, a game I wanted in. And it's all they're all EA games. They're all filler, if you like. Um, but FIFA 98 was in one of the bundles. And I'm sure he had... Well, they had um, six games in each bundle, five or six games, and I think it was something like, I think they wanted 15 quid plus four pound postage, so it's working out about 19 pound a bundle, something like that anyway. But I thought I'd put a cheeky one in with FIFA 98, and uh, they just accepted it straight away. It was, I'm sure I put in something like 11 quid, so it was working out 15 quid posted. And then I looked at the other three bundles they had, and just putting cheeky offers for those, I think I was putting £8 in a bundle. 
So, after all that, literally I've got, how many games we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It would have been 21 games, because I know I nicked one of the cases for another game. And let's just check these games out. So, I say all EA Sports games, which um, CEX don't seem to sell for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if they were too popular. Maybe they used to sell them. I know 2E, you probably know more about it than what I do. But we've got the FIFA. First one. FIFA 95. FIFA 96. And these are all complete as well. The boxes are not amazing, but all complete, all got manuals. PJ Tour Golf 2. And original PJ Tour Golf, which those first five I've actually got, had all five of those. I also got PJ Tour Golf 3, that was the one I nicked the case for. And then we've got Rugby World Cup 1995, which I'll probably never play. Australian Rugby. International Tour Tennis. NBA 96. NBA Live 95. NBA Showdown. Again, these all they need a bit of a clean up. They've all got rattles where the plastic trim that holds the uh, instructions are all breaking away. NHL 97. NHL 96. NHL 95. I really wish I just literally picked up the whole bundle here. NHL Hockey 94. Original EA, EA Hockey, which I've got the double header of that, but not the version on its own. PGA Tour 96, which could do with a, a really good claim. PJ European Tour. FIFA 98, which was the main reason that the bundle caught my eye. And FIFA 97, with the lovely Ginola on the front. Ex uh, Villa player, I wouldn't say a Villa legend, but my beloved Villa. I always remember this one on the PC because it's the first FIFA game that done indoor football. Great little game. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give it a go later. I love, love playing the old football games. So yeah, all of that massive bundle for. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it worked out about 45 quid, which, considering, I'm gonna try a bit of 1,000 trick here. Oh, so all those 45 quid. I'll take that all day long if you can get any Mega Drive games for two quid posted there or thereabouts you're doing well and I say borrowing five of them I didn't have any of the others and I'm not particularly going for a full Mega, Mega Drive set well I say I'm not going for it I'll, I'll literally chip away at it and then see where I am I think I'm up to about 200 games so we'll see how we go with it but let's uh, move on to the next bundle so moving on to the next eBay Mega Drive bundle I got um, I'll put picture up in a sec to show you uh, what I got because I've ended up flipping a lot of it on but it was a really good deal um, I was just browsing eBay I think it was the day after Boxing Day and uh, I was just looking looking for all the bundles and I'm sure that this listing had literally been up less than five minutes and it was a Mega Drive 2 with like five joy pads again I'll, I'll put the picture up at about 20 odd games um, and it was up for 100, 110 pound buy it now and to be honest I don't really know why I didn't just snap it up straight away I was, it was just after Christmas I thought I'll, I'll be even cheeky and I'll, I'll put an 80 quid pick it up because it was only in Penge so about half an hour away from me maybe a bit longer and uh, she, they didn't get back to me straight away and, and the listing just disappeared so I thought yeah somebody's seen it it's a bargain anyway God knows why I was just being so tight but um, yeah, it, it literally sold then and I, I sent him a message, I said, um, look, I'm pretty sure your listing's probably just sold, 
Um, I said, I know I'll put a cheeky offer in, but I said, if, uh, if, if your buyer gives you any, any grief, any, any issues with it, just let me know and I'll, 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 I'll pay the full price for it, what you wanted. And uh, didn't expect anything back. And then about 10 minutes later, they, um, they got back to me saying, oh, the, the guy that's bought it or whoever's bought it, um, they want us to post it, but we don't want to post it. So yeah, it's yours if you want it. So yeah, I thought brilliant. I'll, uh, I'll pick it up and, uh, and yeah, got it back, got it all cleaned up. And literally there was only four games and one of the, one of the joysticks I wanted. Um, so the first game I didn't have was Disney's Toy Story. All complete. Hang to have missing, but I've got a few spare blue spine cases. I can uh, I can chuck that in. Two crude dudes. Again, all complete. Nice condition. I mean, some of the games weren't in particularly good condition, but I uh, that was one of the reasons I was flipping it back out a little bit. No way, but I'm. I'm very honest with it on, the, on when I when I list things, what sort of condition they're in. So the guy that bought it was uh, was more than happy with it, I believe. What did I end up getting out of it? Um, I'm sure the listing sold for about 150, 160 quid. So take the eBay fees and, and whatnot out. Um, yeah, I've, I've I've ended up getting these games well <laughs> for minus 50 quid. So I've got the games and and an extra sort of. 40, 50 quid in my back pocket, so oh, I'd say minus the eBay fees, probably about 30 quid, so well happy with that. Uh, James Pond, Aquatic Games, this one didn't have a manual, but again, I didn't have it, so I'll keep hold of it. And Battle Squadron, which this is the game I actually really wanted. Um, I ended up getting a, this is obviously a CEX version, um, and it's got a funny crinkling but there's nothing wrong with the inlay, that's just the case. But I don't know if anyone can point me in the right direction to get these EA boxes because there's quite a few of my need and this would be in lovely condition if I just changed the box and uh, really happy with uh, Battle Squadron. It was on my radar to get it, so yeah, happy with that. And the joystick I wanted was the Power Stick 2, which again, I, I literally haven't cleaned anything yet and I've, I've really just got to give everything a good clean, good scrub up. Um, I've given it a go and it's all all working. Again, not sure if I'll end up keeping it because I'm not a massive fan of these uh, these power sticks, any of these arcade sticks with uh, without micro micro switches. They're not amazing but I'll give it a go. It, will, it'll, it might stay in the collection, it might not. Who knows at the moment. And then got some pickups from Galaxy Sega I believe this was and what did I, how much did I give for these four games I believe I'm sure that was about 20 quid 22 quid posted Bubsy 2 which didn't have a manual but I had a manual for it so that's all complete now all in nice really nice condition Eternal Champions again blue spine all in really nice condition. I do find when you buy off Galaxy Sega or, or the Facebook groups, the games do seem to be in better condition. Um, I don't know if it's got something to do with, obviously there's a lot of collectors on there and I don't think people want to sell their sort of, sort of duff, collection, uh, duff condition games on there and maybe get a bit of a re reputation for themselves. And that's the whole reason why I didn't sell the rest of that bundle on there myself, because it's much easier to sell on the Facebook groups obviously save money on eBay fees, but again, some of the some of the games were in pretty grim condition, so uh, that's why I didn't didn't put them on the groups. Went straight back on eBay. I've got Premier Manager, which I love the Premier Manager series on the Amiga. Never had them on the Mega Drive, and again, all complete, lovely condition. And Premier Manager ninety seven. No hang tab, but as I said, I've got a few boxes if I get start getting really anal about that. I try not to get really anal with the uh, with the hang tabs because when you've got so many games it's it's nearly impossible to get them in absolutely mint condition and especially with sort of the more common titles SF do in nice condition bonus. I won't overpay on a game that's not in that great condition but for something I think this worked out about a five or a game so again and they're, they're in pretty good nick all complete so happy with that. Right, on to some more CEX pickups. Um, 
CX got some really good prices. If the games are in good condition, then CX price wise will usually be eBay 95% of the time. Um, so anytime I'm in, see, I'm a mobile engineer, so I spend a lot of time in different high streets. So the amount of CEXs I, got, I see, I'll always pop in and have a look, see what they've got. And I picked up Legend of Zelda Wind Waker on the GameCube. This is the limited edition one with Ocarina of Time and uh, Master's Quest. But again, all complete, all in pretty nice condition. Again, the box, it's got some honest wear on it, but I'm happy with it, as long as it's all complete. And the other game I picked up at the same time, this because that was in store, um, was Cybernator on the Super Nintendo, which uh, in really nice condition. It's, it's it's not mint. It's it was a box version. It's had a bit of a, a bit of a crush in there at some point, but again, nothing too bad. I mean, I've been eyeing this, and it's in it's in nice shape. Um, owned a cart only of this so I can just end up selling that on and I believe this was £18 and a really good game so if I can what I would like to do is start replacing my box only titles with completing box titles and for a SNES game for under 20 quid can't can't go wrong on that and now back on Mega Drive and again quite a few titles um, a few Games have been on my radar, this being one of them, Galaxy Force 2. I've always liked my shmups, I shoot them ups. So I uh, picked this up and it was dirt cheap. Again, can't make definitely under a tenner. So, Galaxy Force 2, happy with that. This one I keep ordering from CEX, uh, Kid Chameleon. Great game, and just so annoyed that it keeps, it keeps turning up without the manual. But the inlay's in good condition, the cart's in good condition, so I might order that again, see if I can uh, source a manual on that one. This one, I know it's not a great game, Last Battle, but it's really cheap. Again, complete, all in good condition, under a fiver. Again, cannot go wrong. And as I say, it's in really nice condition, this one. I mean, that's what I'll usually do. I'll order from CEX and if I'm not happy with it, just take it back, get a refund, there's never issues with it. Another really cheap one, Dino Denny's Soccer. No idea why this wasn't classed as mint, because it's all complete. Blue Spine again. Another, again, don't know why this wasn't mint. It's all complete, I believe, yeah. And it's, so it barely looks like it's been touched. Striker on the Mega Drive. F1, again, all complete, great condition. Again, I know Tootie mentions quite a lot. Um, he gets, it's not like you get luck from, well, you have to be lucky on CEX, but if you just keep ordering it and ordering it and ordering it, sooner or later you will get a nice condition. But I think Dino Dinny's soccer, that was the second one I had. Um, but last battle was first time lucky, F1 was first time lucky, Striker was first time lucky. And I believe I got really lucky with this one as well. Revolution X. Um, again, I think on Retro Collect, it comes under being quite a rare title. I haven't even tried it yet, but it's all complete, all in really nice condition. Again, no idea why it wasn't classed as rare. Uh, sorry, mint. But yeah, £10. Uh, this was an order, ordering job, so eleven fifty with a postage. Really happy with that one. This one I'm keeping, but it's got a bit of a tear on it. But Cosmic cosmic Face Head, and now it's probably got a broken cart. Again, I might uh, order another one of CEX if I can see one on there. <laughs> I'll probably swap that cart out now. Um, but again, all complete. Not sure about, Not. I don't know much about it, but it looks like quite a fun platformer. And again, I know it was quite cheap. So, uh, We'll check that one out. And this one, I must have ordered probably about three or four times from CEX now. Um, the Haunting, I've been after this one a while. Um, it was never coming complete, but this one did come complete. Um, the only bad thing I can see on there is the fading on the spine, which again, I'll live with for the time being. And again, if I can, if I can upgrade it, 
I'll upgrade it all day long. But I hope good things about this uh, game. It's a bit of a different game. Um, again, I think getting quite sought after. Looking at around um, 30 quid, I think. I think this was 28 quid, something like that. But again, I'm sure I ordered it like three times. So, uh, no, happy with that. Let's go on to the next bundle. Um, what have I got left? I've got a couple of Mega Drive games and an Amiga bundle. But it was the Mega Drive games that led me to the Amiga bundle. So, right, on to the next lot. I've uh, taken Agony off because uh, I don't want to get screen burn on my lovely BVM. I've got Batman the movie now. Great game that is. But um, yeah, let's break up the, uh, the Mega Drive games and uh, I've been picking up some uh, data disc vinyl, Metal Slug. Um, I ordered this when they ordered it in December and it came last week sometime. I haven't opened it yet. But um, I love these data disc vinyl records. There's a lot of lovely artwork in there. And um, I love listening to game music. And when I've got the extension done, I've uh, got my record deck all set up. And I've, when I bought that out one the other month, I put it on quite often. I listen to it more often than you'd think, really, but really decent. I love uh, love the artwork on some of these. This is Streets of Rage 2. And uh, I was listening to this. Just love all the artwork and even the, the records themselves. This isn't a limited edition, but this is the the see-through one, I believe. It's got a white colour. No, I absolutely love these uh, these records. And the other one I bought, which was uh, this last one was an eBay purchase actually. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting them all, and where I noticed them quite late. There's quite a few on the site that are sold out and you get all the scalpers on eBay asking silly money for them, but this one, Panzer Dragoon, you can still get it off the website. I think it works out something like 20 quid with a couple of quid postage, but this was on eBay for like 16 99 buy it now. So I thought if I can get it under the price it's going for on the website, I'll, uh, I'll snap that one up all day long. Again, not really uh, familiar with Panzer Dragoon, but I will open it at some point and give it a listen. See if it's any good. Right, back to the Mega Drive pickups, I think. Because we haven't had any in a while. Um, this was a it was either a Galaxy Sega or a Retro Realm. There was a guy, he sells a lot of stuff on there. His name's Dan, I can't can't remember his surname. But he only lives up the road for me, and I noticed this um, on Facebook. He was selling a lot of stuff, and I actually sent him a message. And I wasn't trying to backdoor or anything like that, but I was interested to know what he had because he had he was selling so much stuff and I thought he lives literally just up the road from me so if I could go and see him see what he's got uh, maybe get a few bargains because that was the thing the things he was selling he was selling them at really good prices not really putting postage on anything so yeah it, it, just doing some really good deals and he, he'd come back to me he said uh, yeah just keep keep me eye out on the on the Facebook groups he, I think he likes to give uh, everyone a fair chance of of uh, getting a few good bargains because he's, he's he is a trader, so he's obviously got a good name for himself. But um, gave it a couple of days later, and I saw these uh, couple of Mega Drive games. One of them being Gauntlet Four. Um, nice box, but no instructions. But I believe that was a a tenner. And this game he had for twenty quid. But I ended up being a bit cheeky and saying, oh, would you take 20 quid for the pair and I'll pick them up? And he was like, yep, yeah, absolutely fine. And that was my way of getting uh, getting my foot in the door to see what uh, what else he had. But Alex Kidd, Enchanted Castle. I think 20 quid for both of these is uh, a bit of a bargain. That's all that one's all complete. So uh, happy with them. A couple of, couple of Mega Drive pickups. I say with that, I say I got my foot in the door and he had uh, some Amiga games up for sale. Um, I think the way this guy works, he he's obviously got his finger in a lot of pies. He gets a lot of stuff in bulk. And as long as he gets his little bit on top, I don't think he really minds. And funnily enough, he, he's, he's got a partner who he, who he does a lot of this selling with. He does a lot of boot fairs. Um, not, not too far from me. It was actually my dad worked with one of his, his well, his partner. And uh, I remember a couple of years ago, my dad said, oh, I'm working with uh, with this guy. 
he sells a lot of retro stuff. He's got a lot of games. And he says he, uh, he does a boot fair down in Ashford in Kent, which is not, not far from me. I live in Kent as well. So uh, I remember one Sunday getting up and got, going down and checking, it, checking the store out. And yeah, they had a lot of decent stuff on there. And uh, I bought a couple of bits, but didn't really think too much of it. And uh, fun enough, when I went to pick these games up off this guy, I sort of recognised him. I was like, I've seen you somewhere before. And and then he started mentioning he, he does this boot fair every Sunday. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's that's obviously where I know you from. And I've, I've seen you and uh, recognised you from. And I was like, yeah, my dad used to work with your mate. And, yeah, was chatting for a while. And uh, as I say, he started showing me all these other bits he had. And they say he had this, uh, he had this Amiga bundle. And this, it's, it's an absolute bargain, an absolute bargain. He had a box full of uh, Amiga games and he said he, he said he wanted 20 quid for the box. Now, I don't know, uh, I mean he's a trader so he, he, no, he must know his prices to a certain extent but this is is ridiculous and I just I broke his arm off basically. So uh, let's see what I got for my 20 quid. It's the first game, this one's a... Uh, it's, it's been squashed, I haven't given it an iron, but it's blood money. Psygnosis games always hold their value, but it's all complete, all works. Um, I know Big Mike, I'll give you a good deal on this if you want it, because um, I, I literally bought it before Christmas. I think I paid 25 quid posted, and I've ended up getting it in a bundle, in a 20 quid bundle. Um, again, it's got a little bit of a tear there, and I, say, I think it just needs a bit of an iron, really. The insides are all in pretty... Uh, pretty good condition the discs not too bad everything's there even the registration card that somebody's filled out where's this guy from oh high street gravesend again just up the road from me i love seeing little things like that both discs are there actually like the ones i've got are actually printed on the disc these ones are a bit different but again all works so that was uh the first one that caught me eye. Then we've got Beneath Still Sky, which again has got a bit of a a bit of a, uh, a squashed box. Um, don't know anything about these. I was never really into the um, the newer Amiga games. I mean, this has got like 15 discs with it, and yeah, I, I won't be interested in that. So I'll, I'll probably sell that. One. Well, try it first and and sell that one on, might give it a bit of an iron, but, so we've got them two games, and them two games are the worst condition games in the whole bundle, I had all these, I've learnt my lesson now, I'm not going to do these one at a time, we've got these re-released games, uh, the 10 star pack games, some absolute classics in there, but I do own most of them, um, Art Chess, I remember owning that when I was younger, but I haven't got that anymore, so I'll keep that. Um, Amigas is a Arkanoid clone, Barbarian is just a classic, Buggy Boy classic, Kari Warriors classic, um, and Thundercats is a decent platformer as well. But the other the other lot I don't own, so I will keep those and then just uh, get rid of the rest. But I know they don't really command a high price, them, uh, them smaller box games. But this is, I think, where I've got my bargain, um, these games here. We've got the three quarter box, big, no, three quarter big box games, Populous. Again, don't know too much about that. It's, uh, I believe it's a bit like a like a Sims game or something like that. I don't really, not really my sort of thing. Voyager, Ocean release, but no, absolutely nothing about the game. But it's got the disc all in there and a cassette as well, which again. Don't know, oh, it's the stereo soundtrack. I'm pretty sure I don't even own a cassette player anymore, so uh, again, don't know anything about that. We've got Kickoff 2, which I already own. Um, I was more of a sensible soccer guy, so I, I remember having this as a kid, but I couldn't get good at it. It was such a hard game. So I'm really good at sensible soccer, but not very good at Kickoff 2, but it's all in there and pretty nice shape. And then we've got, these are the games I believe I've got the biggest bargain with. So we've got Speedball, the original Speedball, really nice condition. 
I've got everything in there, even the poster, which is quite cool. Even cooler if I can get it open. Oh, that's on the wrong side. So that's quite cool. A bit of a tear in it, but quite nice to see that in there. And then we've got, which I'll show you next, Quick Dangerous. And again, this 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 box is absolutely in really nice condition. Even though the back's on the wrong way around. And I have tried these games. These uh, this one worked the first time. So uh, everything in there, really happy, nice shape. And then we've got wings. I know this this is quite a sought after title. Again, I was never really into flight simulators. I don't know why that box is on the wrong way around again. But again, everything in there, all in nice condition. I mean, apart from, I've got a bit of a mark on the box down there. Really good condition. I, I know this sells for about 25 quid on its own, and so I've got all this for 20 quid. It's absolute bargain of the century. We've got New Zealand Story, which the box. It could do with an iron, to be honest. I've, I've, I've got to give it a bit of an iron, but I've got it in a box protector at the moment. But again, all in there. This game didn't actually work first time. And uh, I was speaking to Steve Clifford. He doesn't live too far from me. He's a mate of mine on Facebook. Um, big of me, the fan. And uh, he said, you can actually buy a uh, floppy disk cleaner. And uh, he sent me the link and I ordered it and give it a go. And yeah, got it working. It wasn't working at first. This cleaner for about 15 quid, I think it would cost. Brilliant, works absolutely brilliantly now, so really happy with that. And last but not least, Silkworm. It's in like a clamshell case. But again, all there. Got to take, the, the guy that owned them before put labels on the top just so I'm guessing he can sort of scroll through them in a disc box. Um, but I've just got to take those off. So other than that, yeah. Work straight out of the box. That's what I'm always worried about Amiga games. The amount of time I bought Amiga games and they just completely bugger off your disk drive straight away. And then you've got to take your disk drive apart, clean it. I haven't got a head cleaner, so I'd have to do it manually. So, uh, no, well happy with that. Really happy. So that's about it, guys. I uh, It was a bit of a... I have no idea how long this video is, but uh, I'm sure that's about it. I don't, that are, anything else I'll save till next time because that's uh, more than long enough for one video. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.